Hi Army, welcome on the water. Welcome underwater. <laughs> I hope you like this decoration. You know what um what part of the commercial is coming now, right? But not now. Later, okay? Not today, tomorrow. <laughs> not today, tomorrow, but I throw out another reading today and I, I wanted to do a BTS reading. Yay! <laughs> with my BTS tarot deck and all the decks I created. You see all the decks I created with the butterfly. And so those are the songs. And I want to look now what song comes out. And for that song we do a reading. Okay. Okay. Three songs came out. Which one do I choose? Okay. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Which one is it, universe? Let's see it. I have, I, yeah, the, the, one, the one in the middle. The one in the middle. So let's see, guys. What is the reading topic about? We are bulletproof. Wow. Wow, we are bulletproof. Okay, let's see what, what kind of topic can we do. We could do <clears throat> what's next that you need to be bulletproof about. What comes next in your life where you need to be bulletproof, okay? Or I think a better topic is what makes you bulletproof? Haha, <laughs> I think that's cool. Like what ability you have, what makes you bulletproof, okay? So we will do that and um, yeah, let's do this guys. So, what ability you have that makes you bulletproof? I prepare five piles. Okay, guys. And see you in a minute. Bye. So, guys. This is... This, those are the piles. You see them here. Pile one. <clears throat> came out cook. I asked the universe, what makes you bulletproof? Okay. What makes you bulletproof as a person? So pile one is Cook's energy, pile two, this picture wanted to come out. I asked the universe to give me pictures, so take whatever you feel drawn to, not who your bias is, okay? For OT7. Third pile, Jungi came up, this picture of Jungi. So even if Jungi is not your bias and you feel drawn to that, you know? Pile four is this picture of our boys. And pile five is Juni. Okay? So make your decision, Army. What makes you bulletproof? And then we will read and yeah, we will do the reading, okay? Haha. <laughs> While others are focusing on shadow self, <laughs> it's everywhere the same. We are having the real deal here, right? We're looking what makes you bulletproof. Okay, guys? See you at the piles. Bye. Hi. Hi guys! Hi! <laughs> I just got the quote and if you do something with passion you are always bulletproof, okay? I don't know why, it just came to my mind so maybe this means something to you, okay? If you are bulletproof, uh, if you are passionate, you're always bulletproof. <laughs> so let's look what we have here, the seven of pentacles. Your very strong personality um, how do I say this? In um, patience? You're a very patient person. You are very patient. So we have the Three of Swords reversed. What makes you bulletproof? Six of Wands. Yeah, look at this. You're very patient. <laughs> this is so cool. Yes, again. I want to read the quote later and we have the stork yeah and the mice again can I put this here so let's see if we have everything 
So what I see here is, look, even Cook is sitting. <laughs> even Cook is looking like he's waiting in this picture. Doesn't he? He's like so waiting in that picture. He's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Cookie. <laughs> he's so beautiful. Okay, guys. What makes you bulletproof? Well, you are bulletproof because you're a very passionate person. And um, while you're passionate, you're being funny, goofy. Um, look at this. <laughs> if you have watched Bang Bang Con, you know that um, this is the song when our boys dressed up, you know. And this is like, this is for me always the guide of when you're heartbroken or when something happens in life. You go over it. You go over it with humor. You know. You use a lot of humor. Um, nothing can break you down. Like if there's heartbreak happening, you say, "Well, okay, I know this." You know. Um, then I just wait for the next person. You know. If I don't have success immediately, I will. I will have it in the future. You know. And you walk this road alone. This is oftentimes the cards of um, being patient. Also, like you, st you stand there on this, on this road, you, you take the road alone and you say, well, I can wait. I can sit there and wait for my, for whatever, you know, you're very, very patient. Look at this. So like if other people would give up, you're not. This is your bulletproof superpower. <laughs> The superpower you carry within you, the Anpan Man. <laughs> You're the patient Anpan Man. So um, look at this. If the, the we have the stork, that's the hobby. You know, Babse. And we have the mice. This is all about loss. So if there is no change occurring, this is what it's saying. Is that if there is a loss of um, change in your life or like nothing is happening when... There are times in your life when, you know, things are permanent, like uh, stuck, you know, when you're stuck. And I know we're stuck, with, we're all stuck on my channel. <laughs> we're all stuck in our um, soulmate bonds. That's why I have the little cute, cute two dolphins here. So, but you don't care, you know, that makes you bulletproof. Like, you don't care. Like, look at this. Even if it's stagnating times, you're like... Who's this? Jiminy and Hobie making fun, you know, you're very goofy personality, you don't care. You're very patient, you know what's going on. Um, and this, guys, this is a weapon. <laughs> Not Jiminy and Hobie, of course, they're a weapon too. <laughs> but this is a weapon, you know. If you are like this, I mean, you can stand the test of time, like, easily, because patience is one of the hardest things to learn in life, you know. One of the hardest things, I tell you that. I'm a very impatient person and I would be like I like this here sitting on this road and walking it alone. I'm doing this for three years now and it's freaking me out sometimes, you know. <laughs> but we have to wait. We have to be patient. We have to learn it. And this is pile one secret weapon. So you are already have gained the superpower. And here we have our Jungi. Ask a quote. Let's see what it's saying. It's German. I want to read it to you. It says, Glaube immer daran, dass etwas Wundervolles geschehen wird. And that's what, how, that's exactly how you are. This is so fitting. Jungi is saying, um, always believe in that something wonderful will happen. And that's what, how you are. Look at this. Even the stripes match. <laughs> you always believe in everything that happens to your life. There's some kind of lesson and there's something beautiful to it let's see that we see our Jungi and um, that's that's what you believe and that's your superpower okay pal one yeah I love it I love this reading this is cool this was one of the um, from one of my subscribers okay so yeah we move on to pile two now bye guys Please subscribe to my channel if you have. Hi, Pile 2. That makes you bulletproof. So let's see. This is the picture you chose. Our boys with the <laughs> with the um, Barbie dolls, their own Barbie dolls. You can rest very good. Let's see what this means. <laughs> you can rest very good. What does that mean? We will look at the quote later. We have betrayal. Okay. 
Oh, I think you can go into resting. Oh, yeah, the lovers. In love things, you're very... Oh, yes, if they Look at this. That's my Teangi as a king of pentacles. But reversed one, right? Yeah, the reversed one. That's not a good one. That's not a good one. <laughs> I love that. We have the scythe. Look at Jungi. <laughs> Look how I added Jungi. This is so cool. And the birds. <laughs> so, guys. Okay, now I know what this resting means. What you can do very good is if there is betrayal in um, love things. Like if someone betrays you in love and plays games on you. In lovers things, you know. Meaning if you have a partner and this partner is lying to you or betraying you. Or you feel that there's they are two-faced. You see this Jin here being two-faced? If you feel that... You go right into hermit mode and you say, F it, because you're not my, um, you don't play games on me, you know. If there are people like this, they only care for, like, uh, <clears throat> you see this king of pentacles. It's not that he only cares about money, but it means he's only care caring about superficial stuff, okay. So that means if your superpower, guys, is um, your bulletproof, your superpower is that Whenever you feel betrayal around you, especially in loving th in love things, you know, in love situations, and you feel that you have um, a guy on your side or a girl, please take it as it fits, whatever your preference is. Um, if you ever feel this, you go right and you, you stop this connection right immediately. You have no problem stopping connections. You have no problem cutting out contact. Look at this. It's like the sky is about cutting and this is about communication. So whenever you feel that someone is betraying you, you cut, you cut off connection immediately. And many people will have problems with that, you know. A lot of people have problems with that because that's not easy, you know. Sometimes we always try again because sometimes this betrayal is something we wouldn't believe, you know. Sometimes we say, oh, maybe this person... Um, he was just lying because maybe he was afraid or whatever, you know. You're saying no, no shit in my house. <laughs> no shit in my house. So you can turn your back upon your person immediately. That's your superpower. And you can go into this resting mode and you can cut contact and everything. You have no problem with that because you don't want no king, king of pentacles reversed. You don't want no superficial guy that only wants to have a crown on themselves, you know. And I'm not saying that Taeyangi, you know, I, I edited all my boys on them. So I had to edit um, a super official King of Pentacles, okay? Because this card is not very nice. And I'm sorry I had to put my Taeyangi on there, but you know what I mean. That's just the meaning of the card. He's the cutest. My baby is the cutest. He's not doing any harm to anyone. He's the most truthful person I know. And he's becoming more and more authentic. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. He's don't. He doesn't care about anything. His, you know what I mean. He doesn't care about stuff. Like when he's smoking, he's smoking, smoking hot. <laughs> okay, guys, that's what I just wanted to tell you. So let's get your quote. Oh, we have Cookie here, the golden magni. Look at this. It's so cute. He looks so young. <laughs> he looks like twelve. To be upset over what you don't have is to waste what you do have. This is your quote. This is so fitting again. You don't be upset over what you don't have. Because if you know this person betrayed you or lied to you, um, you know, you just cut the cords. And you say, well, I'm not upset about what I don't have. Because um, I waste my energy and my time if I would, um, like, entertain people like this, you know. Exactly. That's how you are. That's your superpower pile too. Very cool superpower. Not many people have this. They can cut the cords immediately. Okay, guys. Very cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, guys. I move on to pile three now. Bye. Hi, pile three. So we're seeing what is your superpower? What makes you bulletproof? You chose Yungi. Pile Yungi. That card came out for this pile. He looks a little bit like he's thinking about something. So we'll see. Oh, Six of Cups. Let's see what this is. This is very emotional. Um, reliving childhood dreams. Like being in that state of um, childhood 
how do you say this? Like when you remember childhood and you are like in this, in this feeling, you know, of living childhood. We look at the quote later. So we have the nine of pentacles reversed. So let's see what your superpower is. The emperor reversed. Yeah. <laughs> the six of cups though. Oh, friends from childhood. Okay, guys. I, I get it now. Let me see the, um, the Lenormand. So we have the snake here. The snakey. Snake. <laughs> I had to put Hobie on that card, you know. And we have the tree. Okay. The snake refers to an ex or someone from your past. The same as the six of cups. That's people from your past. So what I really feel here, and this is in life long, long time. What I feel your superpower is, guys, um, is that you might have six friends, maybe six. But uh, this is a general reading, so please apply it as it fits. But those are friends from your childhood. You have the superpower that you have no problem in being alone, being single. No problem at all. When there's no emperor, you eat your own strawberries, you know? <laughs> the emperor reverse is usually not a nice card, you know, because that guy is like eating the strawberries and wanting the best in life. But here in your superpower, it's like you're picking out your strawberries and you're eating them and you're enjoying life to the finest, you know? And you don't care if you have a husband in your life, like a guy, you know, you don't care because you have a lot of friends. You have a big, you are a very extroverted social person. You love to be around your friends and your superpower is you have friends from your childhood. Like in life, they stay with you for a long time. And the snake just re means um, you, you guys are shedding skins together, you know, because usually it's very hard, guys. This is one of the hardest things in life because it never happens. Like I've seen it very little. Um, that friends from childhood stay like forever in life because usually when you go, you know, you grow up and you evolve in life and um, You know, you go to college you have different friends and usually you lose your childhood friends during this time like it's it's happening a lot of times that uh, we're losing the The people we stayed with when we were teenagers we're losing in life, you know it's sometimes you you know by losing I mean you don't have that much contact you're not sticking together but this here is people from childhood sticking together shedding their skin together being a long time in life together and the nine of pentacles reversed is all about um, growing up together and being single enjoying life being single so you don't have a problem with that at all because you know always know what to do it's like you always have a choice in life always you, you don't know what you should do first, you know. Look how happy Tiang is looking. He's like, which cappuccino should I take? Or whatever this is he's drinking. Which one? This one? That one? It's like you're having fucking choices all the time. It's like you don't care. You're fine on your own. Because you, you enjoy your time with your childhood friends. And um, yeah, you have those bonds since childhood for a very long time. Okay? And you this is your superpower being with your friends and not caring who who you um you know if you have a breakup or something or you ha you come across this emperor reversed energy and someone is um not being nice to you in life you say oh, pff, who cares i have my friends i'm fine you know very beautiful superpower so let's see what this is all about oh photography be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies see you cherish the small things with your childhood friends, like you going out eating pizza in the middle of the night, you sitting there and talking um, just in the moonlight, you know? This is your strength, guys, and this makes you bulletproof. This is your superpower. Keep that in life, because this is really rare. This is rare, guys, you know? Sometimes we lose all the people along the way because we're also growing, and it's normal, you know? I always tell my student it's normal because many are afraid when they go to a next stage in life that they lose all their friends. But um, you know, those are things that those are transformations in life that occur. 
and that are typical, that are normal. You gain new friend circles during your life, but you kind of stick together with your old crew for your whole life. And this is crazy cool. I love it. Okay, so that's your superpower pile three. So, bye guys. So hi pile four, let's look what your superpower is. What your, um, what is it that you're bulletproof about? Wow, three of swords. That's interesting. Let's see what this is all about. We have the lily, the pure, the winter, the sex card. <laughs> and the stars. Okay. <laughs> that means many. Much. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> we look at this card later. Much sex appeal. We have the seven of pentacles reverse. We have the Four of Cups reversed. And we have, oh, there the star again. Double times the star. The star reversed. This is interesting, this pile. What is your superpower? That's very interesting. I have to tune in. They're like all in groups here. You have a crew and this is similar to pile one and pile two, uh, pile, pile one and pile three, I think. They are like all the piles are a little bit similar, but this one is cool. It's like you're part of a crew and um, you're not waiting around. Your superpower is you're very spontaneous and you take whatever you can get. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you have much sex <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm sorry but this is your superpower you um you don't experience heartbreak in life that much you see this this is the card for heartbreak and look how they look like mm, you know you don't experience that much that like when you look you're bored and you're heartbroken and mm -mm. you have like your crew your star crew and when you kind of get bored, you like you never feel like this. You never feel like, you know, the sitting around and having no hope for the future. And, you know, it's the it's like the, the bad things from being famous. You know, you don't feel this at all. This is nothing you I think you you are part of a group and you guys do all kind of things together. And um, you're you're just taking whatever award you're getting, you know. This means like when you're very spontaneous, you're not waiting around. This is what I feel here, guys. This is your superpower is you're very spontaneous. Um, you're going for it. Like if you meet someone that's very hot, <laughs> just take them. You say, okay, um, yeah, that's nice. I want to have this cup. Look at this big cup. I'm going to take it, you know. I'm going to take every, every opportunity. In love things and also in work things, guys. I see you're not waiting around. You're getting the job done. You're taking every opportunity. And um, you don't care if you're getting famous or whatever the outcome of the situation is. You know what I mean? You're just living day by day. That's, that's your bulletproof. That's what makes you bulletproof. Because you don't care um, about waiting around. Like you say, no, I'm not waiting around. I'm taking the next opportunity. So if, you, if there's a job opportunity coming... And even if you don't know what what comes out of it, like even if it gives you half the money you expected, you're just doing it because you know what I mean? You're not weighing or you're not looking what comes after that. The same goes for if you meet people. Like um, <clears throat> you meet a lot of people, I think, because you are in this group also and you guys are very popular. You're like stars in your community. And like people, they look up to you. You're like an idol, not an idol. Like, like, how do you say this? People look up to you. You're, you're um, not famous, but I'm looking for the word. You're giving also good advice to people and stuff like that. People know you and people, um, yeah, you, the girls or the guys, they, they come for you. They want you and you don't care. You say, okay. <laughs> I take this one and I take this one tomorrow and maybe next week I take this guy. So, you know, guys, in this pile, it's all about um, spontaneous decisions, um, 
yeah, using opportunities, you know, um, living in the moment. That's your superpower and that's really cool. So let's see your quote. So, wow, you might be a musician. Look at this. We have Tiangi and Juni here. It's German. It's saying, Musik gibt dem Universum eine Seele, Flügel zum Geist und Vorstellungskraft und Liebe zu allem. It says, Music gives the universe a soul, um, wings for your mind and imagination and life to everything. So that's what you are. You give life, you will live in the moment. You enjoy life, you know. That's your superpower. It's like you're living your imagination and, you know, very cool pile. Very cool. You know, cool. Okay, guys. So that's all I'm having for pile four. Let's move on to pile five. Bye, guys. So hi, guys. Welcome to your pile five. That's your pile. What is it that you are bulletproof about? What is it you can do? Wow, you are the queen of pants. You're very nurturing, um, very loving personality. Look at this. That's why Juni is here with love. Very nurturing personality. So we have the man and the rider. It's like you're riding, you're communicating with your one. Very good. No, you're very active. You're very active personality. You, lo you love to do sports also. Let's see what else. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, that's all about family. You love family. You love um, having a family. You love being with your family, enjoying activities with your family. King of Cups. Yes, you're very... Um, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But what I see here is that you're very nurturing. Very nurturing. And we have the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> oh, we'll, I'll look at this later. So what is I see is here that you are like, if you are married, because the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles could be a married couple. So if you're married, you really enjoy your family. You love family life. If you're not married and you have a partner, um, you still enjoy the life together with your family. Like um, your strength, you're a bulletproof because you are completely involved in your family. Um, your family always stands behind you supports you you have the support from your family you are very loving personality you love to nurture your family friends um <clears throat> the king of cups you can control your emotions it's like um you know exactly what you want emotion wise you know you're very loving very loving nature but it's not like that you drown in feelings you know that's more like the queen of cups energy but you're like the king of cups that's like a person that can um you know the king of cups can he knows how you know how to control his feelings so whenever it seems like you're drowning um you don't do that you know that's fine so we have the ten of swords reverse that means you experience a lot of hardships in life a lot of endings in life and that's why you know this meaning to your family is so important because all the time when you experienced um like those endings in life where you you stood in front of all the pieces of your life you know you experience a lot of stuff that's why i think you're an older army you could even be married you know that's what i i feel that you have children and you're married and you're married to your big love so this could this is a general reading guys so you um this could apply to a lot of people but your strength is if you're married your strength is your relationship and what I see here, you've gone through a lot in life. And that's why you cherish so much the one you love. You love. It's like the ones you love, this is your kingdom. This is your kingdom. Your family is your kingdom. And this is, you value this over everything. You have a very good communication um, with your fam within your family also. You guys communicate very good. And also you do a lot of activities and you're more like, um, I see that here the king of cups and also here the masculine energy you're very masculine energy sometimes you're very in masculine energy it's like um you're very active you do sports with your family it's like you're doing all the stuff with your family together that's your strength that's your unpun man this could also be your mother if you have a very good connection to your mother okay this could also be guys that your strength but your strength overall lies within your family 
Very cool. This is your strength. So let's see what the quote is saying. Oh, we have Juni. It says in German, Du bist nicht jemand, der in die Augen der Realität schaut. Du bist jemand, der die Realität mitgestaltet. It says, you are not someone that looks into the eyes of reality. You are someone that defines reality, that produces reality. Okay, you're a doer. You are a masculine energy. You know, you're very active. That's what I again hear. You're very active, especially with your family, within your family. Maybe you organize a lot of stuff with your family together. Yeah, beautiful, you know. You're very nurturing and you're also very active masculine energy at the same time. This is wow. This is, this makes a bulletproof like big time, you know. No one can come between you and your family. This is really cool. And they help and support you all the time. Especially when you have hardships, your family is always there. And especially your father and your mother. Like if you are still a teenager or like a young army, your family, like your mother and your father, they, those are your strength. They, they are your strength. They help you, they support you, and no one can cut that. Cool. I really love that. It's beautiful. All this reading is so beautiful today. So this is all what I'm having, guys. I hope you like this reading. This will be the last reading I'm uploading today. So more readings coming tomorrow. And I love you guys. Take care and subscribe if you haven't. Bye.